so hi and welcome back to the game uh, so we're going to continue with this thing so we are moving uh, to the third part the two, two parts before we create these three things and this thing it took us not much time and we model it only by using primitive so cylinder in this case and polymodeling and one modifier almost just one and barrel I mean barrel so I was watching the recording before and I had a voice there that I'm going to die I'm sorry for that I was just too tired to die too but I will try not to have so sad voice so depression voice and try to be more happy for you I will try. Okay, now let's go do th this thing. Uh, so first of all, we'll use one of these as a four to see, because we need the size. I mean diameter of this. So I'm just going to select these bodies, move them a little bit up by hol holding down the shift key, release and clone to object. Now I will select everything, just this not, and right click, hide selection. Select this, select border, and select this and this border. Cap. Okay. Let's go to front, press the F key, F4 to see the edges and move it up. Move it up. Assign the pivot first, affect center to object, turn it off, and now move it back. Let's move it uh, somewhere here. A little bit down. So let's keep it here. Uh, select this vertex. Name it. Um, what's it? Uh, sound out. Ink. Just for fun. Now select these front body. Uh, so let's go to perspective. Select it and back to front. Now bevel, and we are going to bevel again. Here we can do like bigger bevels. Uh, be like this. Oh yeah. My bad. Like. Hopla. What is wrong with my mouse? Okay, select. that the reference is not good enough for this so I'm going like to think that this is the line like this and just copy that and it's too big bell last one 
that was my bad mouse, sorry. Okay, let's try it again. Yep. Like this. Like this. Like this. And something like this. <coughs> now select these edges. Connect them once and it's fine. Now you can see here here is something like a lip. Uh, so I'm going to do it, but before I will show an example how we're going to do this, it will be much easier to understand. So I'm going to create a new cylinder, convert it straight to poly. So like the top one bevel bevel it oh, to this shape now <coughs> Z oh Z to zoom and bevel. So first of all we're going to bevel just a little bit up and big 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 outside. Now we will go a little bit down and a little bit forward then up just click up and click up with nothing click We're going to do something like this. Now you can see the lip here, and this is exactly what we are going to do on our trumpet. <coughs> so the lip. The loop is done pretty easy, pretty fast. Go to front, press Alt X, and we need to bevel this inside. So move it back and bevel inside. Move it back, bevel inside. Move it back and bevel inside. So we just trying to copy the other shape. So nothing special, nothing hard. 
this. Alt X to see the object again. No. Perfect. You see, very easy, very quick. And we just using the bevel tool. That's very important. You can waste time selecting some other files. So now we're going to try for few edges like this. So select this, this, this. It's too much. Like this. Let's rotate this. This is good. This is good. Select this edge. Loop it. And let's turn for it. The front part is <coughs> done. Mm. Let's go finish this back part because we need to do some looping here. Now, when, uh, the trumpet is connected with the other parts in a shape like this. This is straight, but from here, when it should reveal some arc. It's going like this. It's like it's this. It's not straight, but it's like this. Not so much, maybe like this. And from here is going the second strip. So we're going to do a hint for edge. So we'll just pick some hinge. And I suggest to pick this one. And now you'll see how it will be looking. So select the poly, drop it down by holding shift clone to element. Now select this <coughs> hinge from edge, pick hinge and pick this one. Yeah, the angles. Plus the angle of it, it's perfect. Now we just need to do this. So select this and move it like in the middle. Because this part is more than arc. Like this part, it should be much more easy. And here should be enough to put this in the center of a circle, which will, it will be. We will take this part and move it on this side. So, select this from the poly. This select this. Hinge for match. Let's try to pick from this view this hinge. And yeah. Yeah, I think it should be a little bit more far. But it's fine. Okay. Select these. <coughs> Select these and the vertex and move it. Now select these polys. Let's copy it. So just hold down shift and drag it down. Clone to element. Now let's rotate them. <coughs> Sorry, something with my voice. Rotate it and move to the left. And place it in the right position. So it is rotated a little bit more, like this, and it should fit there perfectly. Okay, rotate it a little bit more. Yeah, like this. Make maybe a little bit more, just a little bit. I think it's too much. Try to rotate this a little bit more. We will see. Uh huh. Yeah, this was the right one. Okay. Move it like this. A little bit down. Okay, I don't have to. 
to fit perfectly. That doesn't matter. Now, select these bodies. Deselect. No, no, no. Probably not working. We'll delete something which we don't want. So, again, select these bodies. Holding down Alt. Deselect. These here. Oh, yeah. From this. View and delete. Maximize the left and where it goes. Ah, it's here. Select this vertex and let's weld them. Like this. Okay, this and this part is connected. Now, unhide all. We need to place it in the right position. Select a new part and rotate it, view like this, and move it. Move it somewhere here. Perfect, perfect. Now, how to connect it to this? It shouldn't be straight because. On some references I saw that it's a little bit angled inside, so let's cut these, select this poly, move it out by holding down shift, clone, K, hinge from edge, big hinge, like this, we don't need 90. 5 should be enough. Element, select element. Select again a new part. And let's place it. it a little bit more yeah like this and now let's try to move it uh, like this select this and poly and extrude it I think this part should be in the same distance, so move it a little bit, and it's done, very quick, I mean this part, it's very easy to do, for me, I hope for you too, it's clearly to understand what I did, and we have the main parts done, let's look how this will be looking in relation so on. Let's keep it two. I will turn it anyway off to one, and it will be enough. Keep it four. Yeah, it's fine. It's looking good. It's clean. It's the most important. I don't see anything bad. So one should be enough. Anyway, when we will put the, the gold material, anyway, we will not see any cracks or something. Because the gold material will be reflecting the IGR map, you will not see details like this. And you will even not see that it's not weld here, that it's just put inside, you will not see. But, uh, how I told, at the end I will show you how to do the welding. 
I think I will do it just like some appendix to this because to do it mm, on everything it will take time and maybe some units don't want to do it maybe it's just enough for them to know how to do it so I will do this at the end if it's okay I hope it is so let's go to front back and let's do some more okay I had answer These four parts are the same, so we just need to create one. Again, we will use cylinder. These are put the height segments put to one and create a cylinder of this diameter. Uh, turn this on and rotate it 90 degrees. Check. Almost. and convert to poly apply to it this default material and select the polys like this and by holding out you can see the minus these are like this inside now we're going to bevel oh what a surprise again we are going to bevel up and outside now a little bit up nothing a little bit up inside a little bit up nothing up outside outside more Let's go here inside and straight. Mm, move it in. Turn off polygon and move it into the middle. <coughs> this copy by holding shift. Select this ball and move it out. Okay. Okay, if you want to see how it looks with some modifier, let's apply relation and you see. It's fine. It's nice. So this connection we have done. Now we need to do this connection tubes. I thought to see this. <coughs> and we will just select the blow part, select the poly, hold down shift, shift, move it down, clone to object, select the new object, uh, select the vertex. Copy it and move it here. 
see this uh, is move it a little bit this part but I think it's fine but we don't want it we fine we want to have it almost perfect so select these polys by holding control you select it multiply just like in every other program I think so select this vertex until here move it back how this looks that it should be a little bit bigger too select this this too let's try to move it down a little bit everything but I need also to move this as you can see it's not straight it's a vertex so like this move it to fit the shape so like edge so this one ring connect just once F to front and move the shape to correct the shape and now it's better there it is and this is fine okay okay so I think we are done with this part it's pretty quick again why not it wasn't hard part surely the model is not hard uh, should just to teach you how to manipulate with the poly and barrel more and I think it's the, this model is perfect for this purpose so I choose this because it is a reason and I anyway hope you like even if this model is nothing special but I promise the render will be nice some ideas for this so we finished these the next part uh, if you don't see it I will show you in the next part high selection we'll do this these maybe we'll put some details on this new part we create we'll do this and this and probably also these ones and I guess we will have two three more parts of this because we will do these details which are easy to do just it will take some time to do it so you have to be a little bit patient with me not at all but already the model is looking like the thing which we are going to model I mean to think on the picture. So I'm satisfied with this. I hope you too and I hope you will learn something more from this tutorial. It's the purpose of this to learn. Okay, I will leave it like this and I will see you in the next part by modeling more things from cylinder. So have a nice day and bye bye.